MMA fighting here at UFC Phoenix Media Day, speaking to Brian Barberina, who fights Vicente Luque in a welterweight fight here on Sunday. And Brian, first things first, this might be a little outside of the box, but I saw earlier this week uh, a video that you had posted of you and your daughter, uh, and she was painting your toenails. And I, I have two very important questions. First, what color? Secondly, is this a tradition or, or is this, was this something brand new for this fight? Uh, you know, this is kind of a tradition with me and my daughter. Uh, it started when I fought Joe Proctor. Uh, they were there for that fight and then she really been into painting nails and, and uh, so it kind of started then she wanted to paint my nails for the fight. So we went ahead and went with it and then just, you know, she paints my nails all the time now and, you know, now it's a tradition. She paints them for every fight. So uh, they're in town and uh, so I had her here to, to paint my nails. Actually, my fingernails oh, look at that. are the, the same as my toenails except she did some spots. She wanted some, some little dots on my fingernails. My toenails are just the colors but same. Same, uh, same colors on the toes to match. Is there any re thing, uh, reason for the colors, or is, seem or is it relatively random? Uh, it's, it's really random. I mean, she goes, literally, we went to the store, and she picked out whatever color she wanted. She said she wanted to do, like, a rainbow, so she, these are the colors she picked and went with. Nice, man. Well, hey, let, let's talk about this fight, because to me, I mean, you're a big underdog. You're, you're fighting a guy who's on a big winning streak. Uh, this feels like the perfect Brian Barberina zone, if I'm being honest. You have come through in spots like this in the past, pulled off these big upsets. Uh, do you, do you, do, should we just call this the Brian Barberina zone? Is this the type of fight you're most comfortable? Uh, you know, sure, yeah, we can call it that. I'm good with that name. Uh, yeah, these are the kind of fights I like. You know, a lot of people count me out. That's fine. Um, I'm not here to prove anybody wrong. I'm just here to win the fight and, you know, uh, get the win for me and my family. You know, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited for the matchup. I think it's a great matchup, and uh, the fact that the odds are against me and I'm the underdog just makes it that much sweeter. I'm just curious, like, why do you think you you find yourself always in this spot? Because it seems to happen a lot. I don't know. Maybe it's the dad bod. I don't know. I think maybe that plays on a little bit. I, don't, I mean, I feel like I beat some tough guys. Uh, I gave, you know, some top guys good run for their money, you know, probably better than some of the ranked guys that they fought, I believe. So, uh, I don't know. But uh, I'll just keep proving people wrong and uh, keep winning fights and having fun. Why do you think you thrive in these moments? Like, what, what is it about you that rises to the occasion when, when people are, are doubting you like this? Uh, it's not so much that people doubt me. I just love the fight, man. <laughs> I just love to get in there and throw down. And uh, the fact that it's against up competition and, and, you know, the stakes are higher, man, it really puts me on. And uh, I just go out there and handle business, man. Well, I want to ask you about this weekend because this is sort of a big weekend for the UFC, right? It's the start of the ESPN era uh, in proper where this is the first big, big card on ESPN. Growing up, were you an ESPN guy? Like, is this special for you in, in a way to, to be able to, to be on this card? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm super psyched to be on this card, especially the main card. The fact it's the first ESPN card, uh, I'm really excited to be on it. It's a huge, huge deal for the UFC and for us fighters to get more exposure. Um, so I'm really pumped to be on it, and especially with this matchup. It's a great fight. It's going to be a great fight for fans to see. So, um, yeah, man, I'm pumped. It's going to be huge, and I'm happy to be a part of the first one. Now, maybe I'm, I'm off here, but it feels to me like this is almost like a, a chance for a little bit of a shortcut kind of in this division, right? Because you missed some time last year, and I know that was very frustrating for you. You come back with that big win over Jake Ellenberger. Now you're fighting a guy in Vicente who, who's on a 7-1 and one run. He's finishing people. He's not ranked, but he's kind of like right there on the precipice. Uh, if you win, do you feel like this is kind of a shortcut to get into that conversation where you're, now you're being talked among these top 15 welterweights in the world? Uh, yeah, you know, he's, he's up there. He's, like you said, he's on a streak, and he's doing great. I think definitely uh, helps me jump the line a little bit, which is fine. I like that. Uh, I'm not so much worried about the rankings anymore. Um, you know, they vary so much. So I'm just, I'm in it for good fights. And, you know, if I keep winning, then I'll get in the rankings. And whenever that happens, it happens. But uh, definitely this fight will probably get me there. And uh, just, I'm excited to fight, man, and excited to put on a good show. That's what I'm all about. How do you, how do you assess Vicente as, as an opponent? What do you feel like his strengths are? Why has he been so successful so far? Uh, you know, he's... I think he's really good everywhere. You know, he's tough on the, has a good jiu-jitsu game on the ground. Uh, his striking has obviously improved a lot. He's been knocking out guys. So, uh, you know, I think he's good on the feet. You know, I'd love to take it wherever, you know, wherever it goes, but I'd love to keep it on the feet and uh, exchange with him. And I think that's where I'll beat him the best. But if it goes to the ground, I'm ready for that too, man. We've been working a lot on everything and improving. And uh, so I'm just happy to fight some sturdy competition. Well, my final question, man. I mean, the MMA lab has been on an incredible run over the last a year, really, at this point. What does this fight look like on, on Sunday? Do you continue that? When you visualize this fight, what do you see? I visualize the finish, man. Uh, you know, the round isn't clear right now, but the finish is there. I'm finishing them. 
And, uh, you know, he's taking shots, I'm taking shots, and then I pick him apart and take him down, you know, finish him up, clean him up, put him away, TKO, KO finish. Awesome. I appreciate the time. Good luck this weekend, man. Thank you so much.